I am actually enjoying working out and cardio and all that. I had a question in terms of if I wanted to try like a boxing class, would that affect our programming at all? Uh, no, no, it shouldn't. Um, like if you okay. were to like say do another day and just do a boxing class? Yeah. Well, the one thing I would say is specifically for something like a boxing class, um, mm -hmm. mostly due to the fact that that particular martial art will rely very heavily upon holding guard position and your guard position is going to, I mean, it's just, it's just part and parcel for like the whole thing. Martial arts, the whole point is to be as unhittable as humanly possible and spreading yourself out, not a very good thing to do in that particular case. So keeping mm -hmm. yourself crouched in and like making sure that your guard is solid and that you're taking up minimal amounts of space that you can move quickly and be a very small target is key. That being said, it will also require the sort of like anterior rotation, a little bit of a crouch, and that is okay mm -hmm. for the purposes of doing this boxing class. One thing I would suggest though is post boxing class, make sure mm -hmm. you do a pretty significant and, and, and uh, uh, lengthy stretch for the chest to open up that chest back out again after the boxing class, just to make sure that it doesn't counteract anything on that end. But other than that, mm -hmm. you should be perfectly fine. There would be no problem there. I'm. It, it's an extra way for you to enjoy exercising. It's a great way to help improve conditioning it's uh it's also going to be you know just generally positive for you know allowing me to use muscles in a different way and yeah i have no problem with this whatsoever great in increasing caloric expenditure is never going to be a bad thing in my opinion so <laughs> run with it enjoy it have fun you know uh do your thing yeah just to make sure you get a chest a chest stretch in afterwards and you'll mm -hmm. be good to go are there any specific chest stretches that i should focus on specifically um i would say there's really only two that you would i would suggest as mm -hmm. being like pretty ironclad and like it's because they're just like the two basic ones that tend to fall into every like they're the easiest ones to do and like they're super simple yeah. so basically there's the straight arm one so your arm's going to be out uh parallel with the ground uh and then you have your your hand or you know even a portion of your forearm braced against either a pole or say uh, a door opening something like that right. and then you just turn away from it until you feel the stretch in your chest hold mm -hmm. that position and then once you've held it for about 60 seconds, relax nice and slow, switch to the other one. Uh, the benefit to the to the one with the, the arms, like the, if you're using a door, is that if the door is wide enough, you can lean into the door until you feel the stretch, mm. like through the doorway. If you don't have a doorway big enough for that, don't worry. You can also run with uh, this one, which is the next one I would suggest. So arm at a 45 degree angle, same thing, just opening up the chest again, just like that. Uh, and just okay. hold 60 seconds and then relax and same thing. Uh, that one's much easier to do in a doorway. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> you can much more reliably do that one more mm -hmm. in more places around apartments, houses, that sort of thing. So um, yeah, those would be the two that I would suggest. And yeah, just do those. So in total it'll be four minutes, so four or five minutes of stretching in total. Um, but yeah, just get that in after your boxing class just to make sure we open up the chest after all that and you're good to go, not a problem.